Wimps might have the last laugh on gym-obsessed hunks, gram for gram, bodybuilders' muscles are weaker than those of people who never touch weights, research has shown. Scientists found that bodybuilders had extraordinarily large muscle fibers capable of generating forces far greater than normal for an average human. Yet tests showed that a gram of their muscle was less powerful than the same amount of tissue from someone who did not weight train. Lead scientist Professor Hans Degens, from Manchester Metropolitan University, said, Most of us are impressed by the enormous muscle bulk of bodybuilders and think that these people must be extremely strong, like that incredible hulk the surprising thing, however, was that a gram of muscle from bodybuilders produced less force than that from non-bodybuilders, and it thus seems that the muscle quality is less in bodybuilders. It appears that excessive muscle growth may have detrimental effects on the quality of the muscle, and one may well be better off with normal-sized muscles than with metabolically expensive large muscles. Bodybuilders are only strong because they have so much muscle mass, enough to compensate for the weakness of each gram, the research suggests we had no indication that the proteins generating force, muscle motor proteins, work less in bodybuilders, but it could be that they have fewer motor proteins per gram muscle, Professor Degans added. It would be interesting to see what aspect in the training of bodybuilders causes this decrease in muscle quality. The scientists, whose findings are reported in the journal Experimental Physiology, took small muscle samples from the thighs of 12 male bodybuilders, 6 power athletes such as sprinters, and 14 men who were physically active but did not weight train. Meet the homeless bodybuilder who works out on the streets of Paris. Individual muscle fibers were isolated and tested to see how fast and powerfully they contracted. The results of these experiments allowed the team to make an assessment of muscle quality. In contrast to bodybuilders, power athletes appeared to have an improved level of muscle quality, the researchers found. The training method seems to have an impact on muscle quality, which is of great importance for trainers and coaches interested in improving either performance or appearance of athletes, said Professor Degans. Benefits cheat court fiddling £30,000 after winning Mr. Wales bodybuilding title. Wimps might have the last laugh on gym-obsessed hunks, gram for gram, bodybuilders' muscles are weaker than those of people who never touch weights, research has shown. Scientists found that bodybuilders had extraordinarily large muscle fibers capable of generating forces far greater than normal for an average human. Yet tests showed that a gram of their muscle was less powerful than the same amount of tissue from someone who did not weight train. Lead scientist Professor Hans Degens, from Manchester Metropolitan University, said, Most of us are impressed by the enormous muscle bulk of bodybuilders and think that these people must be extremely strong, like that incredible hulk the surprising thing, however, was that a gram of muscle from bodybuilders produced less force than that from non-bodybuilders, and it thus seems that the muscle quality is less in bodybuilders. It appears that excessive muscle growth may have detrimental effects on the quality of the muscle, and one may well be better off with normal-sized muscles than with metabolically expensive large muscles. Bodybuilders are only strong because they have so much muscle mass, enough to compensate for the weakness of each gram, the research suggests we had no indication that the proteins generating force, muscle motor proteins, work less in bodybuilders, but it could be that they have fewer motor proteins per gram muscle, Professor Degans added. It would be interesting to see what aspect in the training of bodybuilders causes this decrease in muscle quality. The scientists, whose findings are reported in the journal Experimental Physiology, took small muscle samples from the thighs of 12 male bodybuilders, 6 power athletes such as sprinters, and 14 men who were physically active but did not weight train. Meet the homeless bodybuilder who works out on the streets of Paris. Individual muscle fibers were isolated and tested to see how fast and powerfully they contracted. The results of these experiments allowed the team to make an assessment of muscle quality. In contrast to bodybuilders, power athletes appeared to have an improved level of muscle quality, the researchers found. The training method seems to have an impact on muscle quality, which is of great importance for trainers and coaches interested in improving either performance or appearance of athletes, said Professor Degans. Benefits cheat court fiddling £30,000 after winning Mr. Wales bodybuilding title. Bodybuilders, and bodybuilding fans and gym rats on an average, are generally on the shorter side. This led to the 70s definition of bodybuilding big to mean having a smaller aspect ratio or being wide and thick for a certain height while not being too fat. By this definition, off-season heavyweight pro bee are the biggest humans walking the planet followed by maybe some defensive linemen. 
Then thanks to legions of angry natural lifters who saw no point in getting too big and getting soft which would further diminish their attractiveness to females in addition to being short. The definition of bodybuilding big was further scaled down to has a good amount of muscular definition when standing by himself and posing properly. By this definition, someone like Spidey on this site is much bigger than Jim Wendler, even though scrawny in real life. Then again he's also considerably heavier than Brock and in off-season mode in his prime, he'd likely outsize Lesnar standing next to him so. So yeah by either definition, Ronnie would be bigger than Brock, bodybuilding is about being as muscular as possible at a certain height since that creates the illusion. If you're insecure about your height and want to be referred to as big despite being 5 feet 8 inches and under it's likely not going to happen since most people will see you as small. And that is okay. But I agree that Ronnie off-season in his prime would be considered bigger than Lesnar. There's a bunch of 5 feet for inches kids who walk around with ILS in my gym after grinding two plates on the bench that's still almost two times bodyweight bra and who go around congratulating each other, you're huge bra, no you're huge bra, but the rest of the gym go as normal height and over, especially the women, look at these little men with an amused expression on their faces. The girl who works the counter lost her job for saying, look at the cho ad slapping around on the bench. If they posted selfies on here, they'd be considered big lol. Bodybuilders, and bodybuilding fans, and gym rats on an average, are generally on the shorter side. This led to the 70s definition of bodybuilding big to mean having a smaller aspect ratio or being wide and thick for a certain height while not being too fat. By this definition, off-season heavyweight pro B-Burrs are the biggest humans walking the planet followed by maybe some defensive linemen. Then thanks to legions of angry natural lifters who saw no point in getting too big and getting soft which would further diminish their attractiveness to females in addition to being short. The definition of bodybuilding big was further scaled down to has a good amount of muscular definition when standing by himself and posing properly. By this definition, someone like Spidey on this site is much bigger than Jim Wendler, even though scrawny in real.